So most people are going to be a little confused with this math problem. Actually, this is a pretty easy problem, but uh, what's confusing here is that we're dealing with a symbol that maybe we've never seen before. It's this symbol right here, and we're like, i never seen this in math. Well, yes, indeed, I understand that, but let's go ahead and read the problem because everything you need to solve the problem is right here. So the problem is the following. If a at b is equal to a minus 2 times b plus 1, what is 1 third at 3 equal to? All right, so hopefully you can figure this out. And if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. And then, of course, I'm going to explain fully what's going on here. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this thing out. So here we have one third at three. Well, we need to figure out what this means. So I'm like, oh, I have this uh, mathematical operator. What does this mean? Well, I have to go to the rule. A at B means we're going to take this first number, A, okay, and we're going to go A minus 2, and then we'll take this second number, B, and we're going to um, add 1 to it. All right, let me go ahead and just fix this up. We're going to add 1 to that second number, B. So effectively, all we have to do is kind of substitute in these numbers and just um, whatever we get over here after plugging in the values is uh, what we need to simplify to figure out. Uh, what this um, mathematical operation yields us in terms of a result. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and see if you can set this up, that'd be great. But let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So this is what you want to uh, uh, hopefully came up with. We have A at B, again, is equal to A minus 2 times B plus 1. So I have 1 third at 3. Well, this here is in the A spot, okay, and 3 is in the B spot, so I'm just going to simply plug in these respective values. So if A is 1 third, this is A minus 2, so this is going to be 1 third minus 2 times B plus 1, and uh, 3 is in the B spot, so this is going to be 3 plus 1. So at this point, all I have to do is figure this out, and I will have uh, figured out what the problem is, 1 third at 3 is equal to. All right, so now we're just talking about basic arithmetic, and let's go ahead and take the next step. So we have one third at three. We know that this symbol right here, we know the definition or this mathematical definition at means, it means do this. So we have one third minus two times three plus one. And so now this, this just becomes a basic arithmetic problem. All right, so three plus one, obviously this is gonna be four, so this is gonna be super easy because we get to deal with some fractions, and I know all of you are fraction experts. So one third minus two, what do we have to do? Well, we have to find the common denominator, so one third minus two. Uh, we have three here, one here, so we, we let's fix this up, uh, this denominator. So it's three, so I'll multiply the denominator and the numerator by three, so I have three over six. Of course, uh, six divided by three is two. So one third minus six over three, uh, I have the denominators are the same. So now I simply just have to subtract the numerators. One minus six is negative five. You gotta be careful with that negative value, right? So well, it's gonna be one minus six or one plus negative six. So that's negative five or negative five over three. All right, so we're almost there. So what we did is figured out one third minus two, that's equal to negative five thirds times three plus one, which of course is four. But let's express that 4 as a fraction. We'll um, have that as 4 over 1. Because when we multiply fractions, what we need to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. Let me go to show you that here. So we're just going to multiply across. So negative 5 times 4 is negative 20 over 3 times 1, which of course is 3. So our answer is negative 20 over 3. All right, so some of you might be thinking, well, this was just like, you know, I'm not sure this was worth my time to watch this video. Well, you know, if you feel that way, I apologize, but I am trying to introduce uh, you to concepts of, you know, studying math. You're gonna run into symbols 
and all different sorts of things that uh, you basically have to interpret uh, just as we did here. Okay, in other words, um, you're going to run into operations, and you're going to say, okay, when you see this, you know, do this, and you got to be able to read mathematics. You got to be able to read the rules. And this is just a kind of a simple practice problems. But as you um, progress in mathematics, for those of you that want to really get into some advanced math, you know, you do deal with all different sorts of number systems and new mathematical operations. So hopefully this little problem is just a sample of what it's like to deal with a math problem that you might see on some sort of test or some sort of course that you might take in the future. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.